Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here coming to you live with part 18 of Introduction to C++ Programming here on sololearn.com. Everyone can code. We are on ints, floats, and doubles. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So integers. Uh, the integer type holds non-fractional numbers which can be positive or negative. Examples of the integers would include 42, negative 42, and other similar numbers. Um, so think of any whole number. The size of the integer type varies according to the architecture of the system on which the program runs, although 4 bytes is the minimum size in most system in modern most modern system architectures. So that's the amount of bytes that's going to be allocated for an integer. So is 3.14 an integer? No, it's not. That would be of type um, like decimal or double. Uh, so integers. Use the int key to define the integer type. So int a equal 42. Is it, so we set that to uh, 42. Several of the basic types, including including integers, can be, can be modified using one or more of these type modifiers. So signed, a signed integer can hold both negative and positive numbers, and unsigned, an unsigned integer can hold only positive numbers. Short, half of the default size, and long, twice of the default size. Okay, so I personally don't have experience with this, so we'll see if we get to try this out, but let's keep moving on. So, Fill in the blank to declare a variable that contains only positive numbers. Okay, so I'm guessing that would be signed. Okay, and let's try, or, my bad, I guess I read that wrong. Um, okay, sorry, unsigned. So unsigned means only positive and signed is positive and negative. Cool. So floating point numbers, this is where you can declare your decimals. A floating point type variable can hold a real number such as 420.0, negative 3.33, or 0.03325. The words floating point refer to the fact that a varying number of digits can appear before or after the decimal point. Okay, it makes sense. You could say that the decimal has the ability to float to go to either side. There are three different floating point data types, float, double, and long double. In most modern architectures, a float is 4 bytes, a double is 8, and a long double can be equivalent to a double 8 bytes or 16 bytes. Okay, so double temp, we said that equal to 4.21. And floating point data types are always signed, which means that they have the capability to hold both positive and negative values. Cool. So can floating point types hold negative numbers? Yes, they can. Awesome. All right, guys. So that was it for part, t part 18 of Introduction to C++ Programming here on sololearn.com. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe and support the channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Take care.